Hey everybody, it's Jeff, Aromatics, with blending a cigar with pre-embargo Cuban tobacco, part two. So what I'm doing here is I received some pre-embargo Cuban tobacco from Jose at Backyard Cigars. It's probably anywhere between from the 1930s and the 1960s. And what we want to do is just use this tobacco and blend it with other tobaccos and come up with a decent blend. So the first video I did was just the the chopped filler of the Cuban tobacco rolled up uh, in a cigarello format with a Sumatra wrapper. And today what I've done is to make, um, now that I've got a good feel of what the tobacco tastes like, I want to try to blend a little bit. So what I've done is I've added a little bit of Criollo Lajero to the Cuban tobacco as a filler. And then I wrapped it uh, and bound it in a Skiro Corojo tobacco from the Dominican. It's similar leaf to what the Opus X uses. Now I figured that would give it maybe a little bit more of a Cuban-esque kind of taste to it. Not really sure, it's just kind of a start. So I figured, it's, and it's a pretty simple start, so I figured uh, this would be a good way to do it. So let's, uh, well let me give you a quick dry draw. Taste a little bit fruity and you can taste a little bit of that musty old uh, Cuban tobacco. So I rolled it up uh, to do these short filler cigars. It's pretty tricky. What I, what I ended up uh, using is one of those like raw fatty rollers. Uh, I'll do a video sometime on how to how to roll short filler cigarillos using that. It's uh, it's pretty easy, pretty handy because it's pretty hard to roll short filler tobacco. So the, the filler previously, just the Cuban tobacco itself with the Sumatra wrapper was pretty mild, pretty mellow, but, but decently flavored. I figured this would give it a little bit more of a spice, spicy uh, feel to it, but yet still kind of retain the creaminess to it. Wow, lots of smoke output. Not a lot of spice from the start. Okay, uh, as usual, let me smoke this down a little bit so I can get a decent feel and uh, not waste anyone's time. So stick around and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. The smoke out output on this is just incredible. It, it doesn't take much to get this, uh, to get this smoke in and the burn is like perfect. Uh, surprisingly, it's not what I expected it was going to be. That's the crazy thing about blending. You just never know what you're going to get. Uh, so not too long ago, I recently smoked a Puro of that Oscuro wrapper, and it was fairly uh, cedary, sharp, and spicy, but I don't get any spice out of this cigarillo at all, which is weird because it's double wrapped in that wrapper. So that Cuban tobacco must be really mellowing things out. I'm not really sure. Uh, the Criollo Lajero is actually um, fairly, for a, for a Lajero, it's a fairly mild tobacco. Like Criollo is a mild um, strain and Dominican is a, sort of a mild tobacco to begin with for the most part. Um, but I, I still expected to have more strength than this. So let me just, uh, give me a second here and I'll, I'll give you a, the flavor profile that I'm getting. Look at all that smoke. And the ash is holding on nice for, for a part short filler port, part. I got strips of tobacco. I cut the Lajero in little thin strips and just added it to the short filler. So I'm getting just a general um, kind of a, a cheap, or not a cheap, um, like a cigarillo that you would get in a shop that like say you had like a maybe a lower end uh, Cuban uh, tobacco shop and they had these little you know Cuban rolled cigarillos it kind of reminds me of that or or a, a mild uh, Dominican style of cigarillo you get a little bit of coffee notes a little bit of cedar and that's pretty much it not much flavor on on the lips so i'm a little bit perplexed about that i really wanted to go with this wrapper but maybe if i stuck with this this uh, blend or maybe added a little, uh, maybe a, a Corojo Lajero and then maybe used, went back to that Sumatra wrapper. Maybe I'd get a little bit more of what I'm looking for. Now, if you just like um, kind of, 
you know, your average mild mellow cigarillo, you might like this, but I particularly don't. I like a little bit of spice, a little bit of punch to my cigar. Not necessarily does it have to have a lot, but more than this for me. This is one of those times when I really wish I had uh, Jose or somebody with, you know, someone else with me to, to kind of bounce ideas off of. Um, but that's what I'm getting so far. So. So I like everything about, about the performance and all that. Just uh, the flavors, uh, I just need to add a little bit. The flavor themselves are okay. I just want to add a little bit more grit and a little bit more spice on the tongue. So I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this. I'm going to have to sit down and think about it and maybe uh, talk to Jose and see what he says. But uh, that's where we're at now. And uh, I'm going to leave the video at that. I'm going to finish smoking this down, of course. And uh, so, yeah, keep sticking around, uh, watching the videos and uh, come along this adventure with me. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on my next one. Until then, Aromatics, signing out.